All right, let's do this. YouTube, what up, Sneeze? Uh, what we got? GP versus Brand. Tricky. Tricky one. Let's see how it plays. This would probably be one of those times where I tell you the Grasp Mastery is really good. Grasp Corrupting Pot. Ooh, you might be doing it. Oh, I'm so amped if you're doing it. Oh, I'm so amped, Nugan. That's good shit, dude. Let's see how it plays. Oh, I'm amped. It's nice to see this. So, oh, great. Yeah, this is excellent so far. Um, He's going to spike level two, so I'd be a little careful, but I want to get one more Q in. You need to be stepping up more frequently here, though. This You need to be in this dude's butt cheeks. Every time your passive is up as Gangplank, oh, sorry. Every time your passive is up as Gangplank, you auto and use that move speed to move forward. So you move forward, and that way you can Q, and then you can duck into the brush immediate, okay? Make sure... That um, that you're every time, dude. It's a race. Every time it's off cooldown. The corrupting grasp style only really works because you're just spamming, just like you would with Pantheon. Any time that your Q's off of cooldown and you're not in range to to Q the guy, you're wasting time. That's a pivotal part of this strategy. So see how you're kind of jerking it right now. I wanted you in there already queuing him. That's damage we missed. That's missed damage. He's regenning through this right now. Right there. It was messy. The reason it's messy is because you tried to barrel him with with the Q barrel. Fuck that. Just throw. If you have to make a choice, barrel combo him and melee that shit. So this should be a melee. I hope, I hope I'm clear here. You should melee this and just get the damage. Do not miss the damage. If you melee the barrel slow, you can dodge the skill shot as you move forward and then Q brand. All right? This is advanced for you, but you're gangplank. Your name's EU Barrels. So this shouldn't be over your head. All right. We can't, we cannot get chunked like that. Not the end of the world yet. That's what I wanted to see in lane already. Don't miss it. Corrupting Pot should have been running a long time ago. I thought you already did it. You ran one, and then you got to half HP, and you didn't run a second one. Run that second one. Get the fuck away from him. That is real bad, bro. Now he's dead? I'm sorry. I, I can't get over this. What was that? What was that there? That was nuts. That was wild. This brand is killing it, dude. Brand's like, ah, oh, flash, whip that shit, suck my dick. Oh, a gank's coming. Yeah, yeah, you gonna gank me? Fuck these these fucking bushes. Fuck you, gangplank. Fuck you, bushes. That guy is fucking crazy. Holy shit. That guy needs a sponsorship. That guy is out of control. I have never in my life. He was like, dude, he was killing everything, that brand. I have never seen anything like it, dude. He he fought, he fought Gangplank, he fought Pantheon, he fought the grass. It was un, it was just, it was outrageous. Yeah, he was, he was lighting the bushes on fire. It's, it's brand's new passive, light terrain on fire. Dude, he killed so much shit. So fast. It was unreal. Fuck, man. Did we get the kill? No, Pantheon got it. 
Double door. Dude, this is how you play Gangplank now, dude. This is how you do it. Fucking Corrupting Pot, Doran's Blade. And then this guy's playing top like a, a cheeser. He's got double Doran's. Like, this is great. This is a battle. This is what I want to see, boys. This is what... This gets me going. I am so amped. I love it. Okay. You are just getting obliterated by this fucking bread. Can we... Dude, we can't take this much damage in this lane. For real. Like, we just can't. There's no way we can get away with this. Dude, just triple barrel him. I hope you know how to. Your name's EU Barrels. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Triple barrel here. Set it up. And triple barrel him. So that you can slow him. You can speed yourself up. And you can make a fucking play here. All right? Make a titty, and then triple titty him, and then there you go. Now you can now you got the move speed up. You can run him, you can walk him in, you can dot some skill shots, and you can wiggle around here. But you're just letting him dictate pace, and you're not threatening the triple barrel. Triple barrel. See how you see how you give him all this? No, you need to slow him first, then run in. All right. But we just we we get just obliterated in this matchup we can't take this much damage this is like laying over dude i'm just not used to this playstyle of gp i mean well, to be to defend you, I, I get that. But the other thing, this is a very hard matchup for GP anyways. Um, it's more about... The biggest issue that I have with your lane phase so far is that you weren't efficient in, in dealing DPS in the lane phase. And then after you had the opportunity to start tripling the guy, you didn't go for it. And you try to like walk... You can't walk up to him. It's just not how this matchup is going to play. It's either you triple barrel him and then move forward, try to dodge skill shots, hit a Q, reset, do it again, or nothing. It's it's one or the other. Okay? Like you, you can't you can't um you can't just walk at him because it's never gonna work. You're better off just playing passive at that point. He has double Dorrance, so it's not like it hurts you to just farm either. You don't have to do you don't have to go crazy. You're very rarely gonna be able to beat him straight up. Or you can just let him hang himself, keep pushing. Eventually, Pantheon's going to show, too. I don't know if you, like, soul read that. I didn't see what you did. Ah, uh, okay. You're defending it. That's fine. That's a fine move. I think it's fine. I don't know why I read this guy's name as Wincest at first, but that's what I read. But that's what I did. I read it as Wincest. I scanned it, and then I had to double take it. Want to be Insect, and then I read it as Wincest, which is pretty close. Yeah, um... Wincest, lads. Yeah. It was very bizarre. So, yeah. I think um, so far in lane, I think you just took too much poke. And you weren't efficient enough at the harass. But you'll get better at it. And it's not its not deciding the game. The guy is still hanging himself by over-pushing. So, you're, you're not doing that bad. He also went double Dorans, uh, Dorans rings, which is pretty aggro. Oh, no. We couldn't get the double kill. Great defense on the dive. Alright.
let's talk about optimizing this. Let's see if we can do anything better here. I don't like this as much because you face tank a lot of his damage. If you could go back in time and do this again, here's what I would say, all right? How about instead, how about, fuck, I went too fast. How about instead of leading like this, why not wait a second for the minions to come? Okay, so, and yes, I would think of this on the fly. Is that the 20? Fuck, I didn't see the donation. I'm sorry. Hold on, let me give you your shout out, dude. Excellent. Thank you, Dragosan. Love you, man. Instead of you, you kind of freak out and just do it right away. Why not just let the minions meet? Give this ch dude a chance to run a spell rotation because if he runs a spell rotation and then you go in and you have red buff, he's dead. He's checkmated. If you want, if you don't want to wait for the minions to come forward, you have another option. Lead, um, lead with Q here okay so you lead with q then you would barrel him and melee the barrel so you'd melee the barrel and then you would run around him and try to get him to miss a skill shot if you get him to miss miss the skill shot then bam you've got him you've got him crushed you could just walk him all the way to tower beating his ass the whole way to tower and probably kill him okay so i think you rush here a little too much and notice See how you have to anticipate the stun, but it's very tough because he's like in your grill. It's tough to see the stun coming, the animation. It'd be much better if you were able to wiggle your way around the stun and then stay auto, auto, Q all the way back to the tower. You might be able to kill him. That would have been big. That would have been a big deal if you did that. That's game winning. So you're in a really good position and you need to see it as such. Okay. Man, this brand top shit's crazy, dog. It's out of control. Ooh! I'm not really watching bottom, but I think you should be. Because shit was hitting the fan. You might have had an ult to pick up a kill. <clears throat> the fuck? That's what you ult? I disagree. I think you'd be better off just ulting the dive when it was happening. Wincest, dude. The best name <clears throat> in the game. That was really messy. I would caution you just trying to face tank damage like that and the off chance that you get counter ganked. Um, it would be really embarrassing if you tried to rush a gank and then got counter ganked and shit on. What, put this on? Scoreboard. <gasps> Excuse me. What the hell, Ambi? We don't have any vision down. Yeah. Dude, you kind of can't do this. What? Drunk ass? Kind of can't do this uh, versus Vi. You really should have some sort of vision down uh, if you're going to push in this lane. Try to bring the control ward down or at least use your, your trinket. 
That was weird as fuck. That guy just scooted, dude. He scooted along. He's level 8, too. He's, he's pretty behind. Okay, fine, I guess. I I think it's a pretty silly ult, but uh sure. Sure, we'll take it. We'll take it, whatever. Dude, what are these creepy emotes in my shit? And we lose this game. That's the sick part. I guess misfortune's like hyper fed. Their bot lane is like hyper fed. And you get him, nice. Good little outplay there. I like your item build. Um Yeah, good job, dude. That was good. Your lane your laning was pretty ugly early on, but I think you're doing a good job of, of being confident now that you've got some items built up. So that's good work by you. Why, why do you think you need to TP? Uh, the fuck did you ult? No, you Looney Tune. Dude, just ult top or something. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... I, I don't know if I agree. I don't like the teleport bottom, but it's okay. It's not like... It's it's a disagreement. It's not like you don't, you don't ever do it. It's more like I would rather stay top and just keep driving this lead into the ground and just ulting around the map. But you're like massively ahead. How do we lose, dude? We're so fed. I'm sure that can be cleaner. Ah, uh, maybe we should criticize a little bit harder. Thanks, Jeremy. Is that a 20? Love you, dude. Okay, so I like that you're you're being assertive and trying to like bully the shit out of this guy. I don't. It's not that I I hate it. I'm just kind of like he's zero and five. So I don't want you. I don't want you feeling like you have to fucking tank your HP bar to slay him. If that makes sense. There's a, there's a, there comes a point as a player where you need to acknowledge that like this guy is gimped as shit, and freaking out on him like he's dead he can't solo you you can't lose to him you will eventually kill him there's no point there's no rush all right on on that so i i just think it was i think it was forced i think it was forced
Let's talk about this. I want you to see something, buddy. This is a perfect example of being kind of lazy with your flanks. All right, check this out. I'm going to do this. Notice how you path straight. Always, always, always hit walls like you mean business. So instead of doing like this cutting, always use maximum space. So in the off chance, and I wasn't sure if, if this was blocked or not, but in the off chance that they don't get vision of this corner, you could very easily wiggle here, drop a barrel, and then set up a triple barrel on the side. But I want you, and it doesn't, to me, it looks like you don't often triple barrel, like you didn't do it in lane. Um, but this is like, you got a triple barrel here. This has to be a triple barrel, at least attempt it. Um, so I want you coming down, hugging the wall. I want you barrel here, barrel here, and then go for the triple when they try to leave. Okay. Get that angle every time. Get the titties, dude. Stack the titties. Make it happen. And then that way, you have a reliable engage. Like, you could go barrel, uh, alt, right? You could go barrel, alt, here. Barrel, barrel. There you go. You got three. You're guaranteed to hit something. And then there you go. All right? Instead, you kind of had this, like, messy watch. It was, it was as if you didn't know what you wanted to do okay that look how you come in like you throw the barrel in front of their face like this guy who's got a million kills on mf is ever gonna let you get away with it right watch i mean it's it's automatic he's always gonna hit it then he's like i'm gonna fuck this guy up right so you get chunked down this should have been a very easy very very easy kill one that i mean easy is then you don't this i don't want you guys to think every time that you kill somebody that this damage that you tanked was just, man, we killed him, though. Like, never think that way. Think, I could have made this better. I could always make this a little bit better. I could have tried to engage this a little bit smoother. And keep trying to force yourself to think outside of the box. That's how you get better. That's how you execute smoother and cleaner every time. Um, and then, um, looks like you chase in here. Whatever happened. Vi, you know, this guy is, I, this guy's high as shit. I don't know why he's here. And you get picked off. Um, that's kind of unlucky. Shit happens. It's okay. If we had played that a little bit smoother, we would have been all set. Yeah, I had the vision because I wanted to see. What the fuck? That vice everywhere, dude. Um, I kind of feel for you on this one because I think a lot of players would have gotten caught here. My only thing is if you, did, if you had a trinket up and you didn't use it, shame on you. But I think that this is actually, this is pretty unlucky for us to get caught like this and be unable to escape. So I can give you the nod that, that shit happens sometimes and that this death was pretty unfortunate. Because I see, when you were pushing, I see LeBlanc mid and I see Brand top. So I don't think that I'm dead here very often. All right. But if you didn't use your trinket, that's on you. Because if you'd used your trinket and you saw Vi coming, you could have just simply not barreled the wave and then you, you would have gotten out fine.
I also don't see how, um... Oh, shit. They're gonna get Baron. Jesus. That misfortune is fed as shit. And they get Baron. AP Ezreal, boys. Oh, shit. At this point, I'm watching this for um, for curiosity's sake to see how we lose. Because this looks like a pretty decent game. Regardless of how fed the MF is, we're in a pretty good position. I want to see if it's your fault that we lose here. I think you could have won this if you played it better, for sure. But, um... I want to know what the hell happens here, because I think I think a lot of your ward coverage was pretty bad, and I think that you made some questionable uh, some questionable moves like the dive top. I think you could have cleaned up, and some of the harassing lane could have been a lot smoother. Some of your engages and team fights could have been smoother, or could have been better attempts, I guess. All right. I love this Pantheon dive. Please do it. Don't fuck around. That ult. What was your intent here? Barrel should be going down now in this situation. Thanks, Cryo. Love you, man. Barrel needs to go down here because Pantheon's getting engaged on and you need to be setting up a barrel for MF as well. So barrel there and then I guess she's out of range, but either way we should barrel. Notice how you're trying to get close to the guy. Here, E, melee the barrel into like that. Actually, that's pretty good. Should be like that. Should E forward and like melee the barrel. And then, um, yeah, we could have played that a lot better. That was pretty ugly by us. But yeah, this MF is huge. I mean, they're trying to throw it. They keep dying. Like, it, it's unreal. Like, they are trying to lose with how this game looks to me. They get aced. You push out. What elo is this? Is this platinum or gold? Two v one hold is good. I don't think you rotated fast enough there. They're very clearly gonna fight there, but that's okay. You get good old damage off. Vi's dead. What? What? Why are you flashing away? I'm so confused. I'm so baffled. Flash forward. And kill him. This needs to... He needs to die. That guy is carrying the game, right? Like, we... You you have to see it that way. You, you have to go for it. This is urgent. That is an urgent, urgent kill, dude. That is urgent. Must die. Die. That guy needs to die. You need to flash and fucking go for it. There's no... 
You have to do it. Like, even if you embarrass yourself and you flash and you're just out of range, you gotta try for it. And you flash away from him. I don't know why. Flash that and shit on that guy. See how you're all scared? This should be flash this auto Q and then barrel if you need to to continue the shit. But th this is this has got to happen. When you flash away, that's not good at all. Yeah, he needed to die. All right, that's actually what lost us the game. I think you could have played that better. All right, let's talk about this. Lane phase, um, just be more efficient. Like, every time your Q's up, auto with passive, use move speed to juke skill shots, harass with Q. Anytime that someone gets super behind, I don't want you trading your big sprees to, like, dive a dude when you have total control of the match. There's no point in doing that. Your build was fine, I think. <clears throat> I think that uh, you would be justified more in going tabbies in this particular matchup. Um, and then maybe, like, Edge of Night is okay, but I'd probably go for Titanic more often than Edge of Night just because I can get blown up very easily, stepping out of line as it happened to you a lot. Um, but Edge of Night's not bad. Then in the late game scenario, this shit can't happen. Also, the barreling, like... You need, if you're getting a flank, you need to triple barrel and lead with it. You have to. That's that's like GP 101. It's got to happen. You got to do it. You're GP main. There's no excuse. Go for it every time. Um, overall, I think you played pretty well. I think this is a very unlucky game. But I think that there was times where you didn't see what, it was as if you didn't know what your win, con your win condition was killing this dude. This is the guy you kill. You kill this guy, the rest of the map opens up, guaranteed. Vi is going to die. LeBlanc's going to die. Everyone's going to die. You'll be able to control the fights. But if you let this guy live, he was just winning every fight for them over and over again. And the time that you had Flash to secure the kill and win the fight and keep the game afloat, you held Flash and then you used it to run. That's not good. All right. But it was good. It was a good replay. A lot to learn from. I like the grass style. I think it's better than the... Um, I think it's better, especially for some matchup like Brand. So good on you for doing that. Good shit. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more like it. And, or if this pops online. And I really appreciate the support. And I'm out. Peace. Cracks. Thanks so much. Bye.